Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla with a, well, a rather impromptu review of the 1 to 288 scale Gunpla collection, um, Agu Guy. Um, and if you watched my last video, you saw me build most of them on camera. Um, the Agu Guy, uh, I believe, was uh, part of the Mobile Suit Variation line. Um, originally, he was released in 1 to 144 scale with the very first line of models from Mobile Suit Gundam, but he never appeared in animation, so he officially got bumped to the MSV, uh, I guess, category of Mobile Suits. Um, he doesn't have hands, uh, like most of the uh, aquatic mobile suits. He's just got um, adaptations, I suppose, for various um, combat needs. And it's rather strange mobile suit to begin with. Um, doesn't have your customary uh, head by any means. Um, miniature snout. And just an overall very, oops, how else can I put this, a very 70s or 80s robot design. So, um, let's get on with the review here. I'll give you a, a 360 view as best I can. I'm surprised at how much detail they were able to pack into such a small model kit. And of course he is molded all in one color, just like the original kit was. Um, articulation is very limited. Uh, the head can swivel. 360. Um, doesn't really, it rocks back and forth, but not necessarily because it's supposed to. Um, each arm can rotate 360. Um, and they are just pegged in. Uh, nothing else on the arm moves. There's no waist. Uh, the hips are on a ball joint, so they wiggle a little bit. They could go 360 if the arms were not. Um, the ankles are also on a ball joint. And they can wiggle it all around and twist 360. And the snout can pop off because I didn't glue it in yet. Alright, um, that's it for articulation. Um, there are no accessories for the kit at all. What you see is what you get. Um, his main weapons are going to be the Vulcans on his head and the uh, heat whips that he's got instead of hands. I'm assuming that they are they serve the same function as the Goof's heat whip, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll give you a brief comparison to one of the other kits that I've already built from the Gunpla collection. It's actually the first one that I built. And that is the RX 78-2 Gundam. Now the Gundam comes with uh, the shield, beam rifle, and the beam saber. And these are all accessories that are removable. Be careful, don't break anything. Okay. And so, you know, not all of the kits are complete um, buzzkill <laughs> like that guy is. Uh, some of the articulation, actually, on the other kits are is pretty good, but um, I'll save that review for another time. Okay, and uh, just as another 
size comparison with a 1 to 1 44th scale kit. That's a high grade Universal Century um, RX 78 2 Gundam. Trying to steady the camera here. There you go. So, yeah, these guys are tiny. Um, 1 to 288 scale is supposed to be, you know, half the scale of the 1 to 144th. Alright. Um, if you're interested in getting these little guys, um, you can buy them in uh, a bulk pack from either... Uh, I've seen them at Gundam Store and more. And uh, they used to go on sale pretty frequently at Hobby Link Japan. But I don't know if they carry them anymore because they think they were discontinued. Um, and I think, if you're lucky, you can get them individually sometimes on eBay. So... Um, that's it for this mini review. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll answer them as best as I can. Until next time, happy building!